Hi everyone, it's Gail and I'm here with Marguerite Miller's challenge today and as well I'm going to do a little flip through of Gail's grunge journal and we're going to finish the project that we worked on yesterday. So we've got a few things to do today so let's say hi and hugs and get started. Hi and hugs to Anne Kathy, Gladys, Beverly, and Sarah. Thank you so much for watching and your kind comments. Okay, well, took me a little bit to gather today for this one. Um, we are going to, again, we're on our last piece of paper for this little pocket. So that's what we're going to work on today. Um, and I think, so what we have is we have a ribbon so I wanted to use one of these pretty ribbons. They are from Glue Patch Studio on Etsy. And wanted to use one of those. A plant, I've got this page. I think I wanna use something there. <laughs> a person, I cut this little lady out from a vintage uh, sewing pattern. Uh, the splashes are splotches. I think I'm going to use my Tim Holtz. Let's see. Should get it out, shouldn't I? Should be right on top here. Yes. My splatters and just do a little bit of um, stenciling on it was my thought. And I'll use the, I'll use this splotchy one right here. Okay, and then what else? Sheet music, got that. Then a piece of a sewing pattern. So this is the envelope flap off of that uh, pattern that I took the little lady from. So I was thinking, I think I'm gonna go with this green um, ribbon. And what I'm thinking of doing since I've got this little stationary here that we're working on. I think I'm going to put that across here, kind of in the um, same area as the pattern of the paper. So we'll do that. Don't, not sure what that's going to do to my paper in terms of, you know, the glue making it weird, but hey, it's just for me. So it's a okay. So, yeah, so there's that. Um, and I'm going to use art glitter glue on it. This is what I'm going to use. So, I don't know, it might, um, it might scrunch up the paper. We'll see. Um, yeah, so I hope you're all doing well. I'm filming this on Monday. So, we just got back from a big weekend of volleyball. If uh, if you saw my Etsy share on Monday, I I said yeah we spent eight hours in the gym on Saturday and nine on Sunday. So Saturday my granddaughter from Missoula played Marin, and then um, and then Sunday uh, both Addie and Katie played um, and. So, yeah. So, on Sunday, it was literally game, 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 game. <laughs> Whereas on Saturday, with Marin's, it was, um, we'd have a game, and then we'd have time. We'd go for, go for a walk or something, and yeah. So, my thought was just to kind of cover, I think I'll get that. So yeah, it was it was a busy weekend, but it was great, and it's really kind of nice now that the um, now that the sun you know we're on daylight savings time, and so now that the sun doesn't go down, we're not driving in the dark. So we were able to come home Sunday night, and that worked out great and stuff. So yeah. Gotta take that side off too. That's okay. These make these little strips make good stamping for numbers or words or whatever. Okay. 
So my thought was just to kind of back that, like so. I'm just thinking the glue stick is gonna make this curl. I wonder if it, I think it might be better with our glitter glue. I'm gonna just try. Since, since we're kind of um, collaging on a fairly thin, oh boy, did I ever make a mess of the top of my glue? I don't know, we might not be using it today. Oh my goodness, yes. Well, um, I did a little crafting before we left on Friday and um, I kinda, Mike ended up wanting to leave earlier than we had talked about. And so I was, I just like put the lid on and was done. So let's see how we do. Yes. Oh, good. Okay. We're okay. We're going to be okay for the day. Um, yeah. So I was working on my Gail's grunge journal actually when Mike said, let's just go. Okay. Let me just put the top on my glue. <laughs> I was all ready to go except for putting the top on my glue, really. So it was just fine. I'm just going to get a little more of that off of there so it doesn't cause me problems in the with whatever else we do today. Oh, you know what? I forgot to get my embossing stuff out. Gail, you're such a beanhead. I wasn't well prepared today. Well... We might just have to do a moment of talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> I'm going to use my new little tool from my pal Char. Oh, isn't that great? Thank you, Char. This is fabulous. Yeah, it made my paper happy. Okay. So, then we have this. We have the flower. I'm not sure which flower I want to use. I'm thinking maybe this one because it's a little more open and you'll see the music through it a little bit better. That's my only reasoning. So we need to just give it a little cut out. I was thinking about tearing it, but I do think I'm going to fussy cut it. Oh, you know what else? I forgot to tell the time. I'm telling you, I'm in, I'm not in very good shape today. <laughs> oh, geez. So about 1.30, I think we should be done here. Done here and moving on to something else. Let's see. So how much of that is going to be on? I think I'm going to it off like right about here at this leaf. Okay, so let's just cut this out real quick. It's got little sort of feeler things. <laughs> Abdomen on the end of the flowers, so I guess I'll go around those. I went, I'm not sure if they're important to the flower, but they're gonna stay just because they're kind of fun, yeah. So, anyway, it's been quite, quite something, you know, since life has opened up, it's been a bit of a struggle for this kid. I'm just trying to figure out a good life, real life, YouTube life balance. <laughs> so I'll get there. There'll probably be more on that coming once I kind of figure out how I'm going to manage. But for now, I'm just plugging along and Having some fun along the way. I do love these Marguerite Ma Miller challenges. And, you know, I do know that 
definitely not as many people watch because they don't want to watch the Marguerite Miller challenge, and I understand that. But I also know that I wouldn't get it done if I didn't do it once a week on camera. So, so, um, and then there's, there's a lot of people who just love it. So, you know, what are you going to do? Can't please all the people all the time, can you? So, um, I'm just going to keep, it'll, I'll definitely be doing it through this year. And we'll see how I feel at the end of next year, huh? <laughs> I'm a work in progress, peeps. <laughs> Just never know. So this is airing on the day that my granddaughter will be having her spinal surgery. So I want to take a second to thank you all for keeping her in your thoughts and prayers because scary stuff. I just don't even understand how they're doing it. They're not putting a rod in her spine. She has scoliosis quite bad. It's like, um, and I don't, they're not putting in, as I said, a rod, but they're doing something to scuff up the vertebrae and then pinning each individual vertebrae together or something like that. Ay, ay, ay. But she's going to be pretty laid up for at least six weeks, they said. So, and this is my daughter that has Bucky and Leaf, the two little ones. So she's really, she's really got her hands full and unfortunately they live in an apart, a smaller apartment, and there's not room for Nan and Pa to come help. So, so there's that. I uh, I just worry about it. <laughs> I'm worried about the whole thing. Okay, so let's get back to this. But but thank you, thank you for keeping her in your in your thoughts and in your prayers. I so appreciate all of you prayer warriors out there. Okay, I am going to pop that right about there, which is the E in peace. Let me get, well, I'm gonna do this again, just because normally I'd be using glue stick um, on the heavier pages, but these are just like, not even cardstock. They are like thin, Paper. Oh, excuse me. I'm so sorry. Yes, we were around Alfie all last weekend. Bless his heart. Oh, he was so handsome, though. I went with my daughter to pick him up at the at the groomers. Um, he got all of his little back leg hairs all um cut and trimmed up he looked so handsome let's see like right about like that i think okay and then i'm gonna put on the flower which i'm still gonna have to cut it off but that's okay i want those to show because i love those so this is, <laughs> this is where i'm going okay so and then i have a thought about her how I was thinking about putting her on as a belly band for this. I think that's what I'm going to do. Had to figure out a spot for my prompts. I could have put it on the back of the paper, which if the belly band doesn't seem like it's going to work like I'm thinking, then maybe that's what we'll do. But, yeah. So now next weekend we go to Missoula for my Missoula granddaughter has another volleyball tournament. So we're in the thick of club volleyball season is what this is. And so 
my um, Addie's team ended up winning the whole tournament, which was awesome. And Katie's team came in second. No. Yes, and Marin's team came in second. So, yeah, it was fun. Lots of good time with uh, my son and daughter-in-law, Eek. Um, my daughter and her husband had to work it, you know, um, since it was in Bozeman. They had to, they had to work the tournament, so we didn't get to hang out too much with them. They were busy, but that was fine, you know. We could take care of ourselves, and we went on a couple long walks with my son and daughter-in-law. That was lovely. And we were so busy, it was like barely time to grab something for lunch and, <laughs> and, and then, you know, and then dinner was late and so I didn't eat much for dinner just because it was later in the day and stuff. And <laughs> I came home, I told Mike, I lost three pounds. I think I need to go live with Amy for a while. <laughs> oh. He said, I lost a little weight, too. We didn't eat enough. I said, well, yeah, or we ate the right amount, one or the other. <laughs> okay, so we got that done. And I think I'm going to put, I'm going to put on the splotches now. So all I'm thinking is just, we'll do a splat there. Just gonna use this because I'd like it to be a little darker than I can get it with the brush. Yeah. Um where they actually the tournament took place at Addie's High School. And so um right by the high school there's some splats. Maybe we'll do a couple drips up this way. Um, and there's a pond right by it. And so we did a little walking at the pond, which was fun. Gosh, there were houses lining the pond that had the most beautiful view of the pond and of the mountains. We were like, gosh, those people, they had a lovely little... Um, Okay, hang on one second. Nope, it covers up too much. I'm going to put it on the back. Okay, so we have ribbon, a plant, a person, splotches, sheet music, and a piece of a pattern. Um, so, in that, that being the case, I'm going to set her kind of on the edge right there. Okay. Um, anyhow, they had like an upstairs balcony that was probably, my guess is off the master bedroom overlooking the beautiful Bridger Mountains and this pond. You know, of course, there were ducks and geese and stuff. And I thought, ooh, that, and it was all, the deck was all covered. We were like, gosh, that'd be lovely every season of the year, you know, to sit out there. Okay, I'm just going to put you right there, little girl. Oop. Okay, what do we need? We're needing something, I feel like. What I'm kind of thinking is, where is that? Could I put a little... I might do that. I'm just going to cut out kind of these little branches and pop them around a little bit just to give it a little more color. So yeah, and my son walks at a pretty quick pace for his old mother. And so I was really picking them up and putting them down to keep up. <laughs> And so, between those brisk walks 
and not eating much. Yeah, I lost three pounds. <laughs> oh, okay. So I think this would be pretty right there. I just line it up with the edge of the page like that. Yep, that's what it needed. And then this little guy is going to go down in the corner and then we'll be done. No washi tape, just scrappy bits from the flower, from the plant. It's a plant. In order to fulfill my requirements, it's a plant. So then I'll put that there. Yes. We've got it, guys. We've got it. <clears throat> Weather was beautiful, except for while we were in the gym, there was a big old rainstorm that we didn't even know happened because we were inside the gym, But um, which is great. Yeah, we need, a, as I have said multiple times, we need lots of rain here. Um and we're supposed to get rain this afternoon. I'll believe it when I see it. Because it's just not been happening for us. You've all been very generous in saying you'd send me yours. <laughs> but Okay. So then we need to... I'm going to trim this down a little and put it on the back of this sheet. Because I just don't want it on the front. I like what I, I like what I'm seeing on the front, so I don't want it on the front. Let's get it trimmed down a little bit. Okay. All right, and then I'm just gonna. Actually, I feel like I need. A little bit more of a splotch right there. Okay. Okay. That would twill do. Okay, let's just we'll just attach that to the back. This one I'll use this for. It'll be fine. Okay. All right, pop you there. Okay, there's war week 14. Done and done. And that's really fun. I love the springy look of that one. Okay. So now, let me move my stuff over. And I'm going to do a little flip through. That's sticking nicely. Great. There it is. Okay. And then I'm going to do a little flip through of the Gale's Grunge. So I've tied it up with some um, coffee dyed muslin. And then over here, so we have this beautiful, this is from Triple V Vintage on Etsy, this beautiful index card. E -e -e. And then I put a piece of the ephemera from the kit. I just backed that postcard and put that in there. And then I have my little people <laughs> sitting on the mushroom. Uh, so there are the snarky comments. This one says, when in doubt, vacation. So they're having themselves a little vacation on the mushroom. Some jelly printed deli paper. Some coffee. I coffee dyed this calendar. So there's that. Um, in this pocket, I took a jelly print and I cut it in half, lined it with coffee dyed paper, and so that goes in there. And then I just tuck this little tag into for just something extra. Let's see. In this coffee dyed sack, that's another one I coffee dyed is this little one. I meant to behave, but there were too many other options. These little girls look like they could have gotten into some mischief. So that one's there. And then, you know, the beautiful digital 
by Austin Arnold Crafty Boobro on Etsy. This beautiful sack is from Artsology. And I just put a little coffee dyed journaling card sticking out of there. Uh, another jelly print that I did. Did some stenciling there. Here we've got an envelope with just some coffee dyed paper inside. A little extra journaling space there. And then um, one of, back in there, one of my mixed media tags. It says that one is from back in the day and it just needs to live in this journal. Okay, and then again, the beautiful papers, some more jelly prints. Um, this just has a blank tag and then it, it flips open and you've got a big writing pad in there. Okay, little bird page just for fun. Austin's beautiful papers. And again, the birds. And then I put one of my woven tags in this little spot. Open that up and it flips down for a writing space. And then this one has this little envelope from Sigita, and then it's got a mixed media tag that's Happy Girl. So, oh, and then the stenciling behind. This journal is going to be uh, one of my um, early bird notifications for my patrons on Patreon. Okay, so then there's this little envelope that is clipped on and I can't remember who but somebody said I think you should have it on the side instead of the top so that's what I did I was trying to make the bird the right side up but you know so you can clip it wherever you like <laughs> all that to say okay here's the other side of this sack I put a jelly printed envelope that I had made in there just kind of let it hang out the other side Oh, okay. And what else? More of the gorgeous digitals. Got a little fabric flip here so you can write some secrets under there. Um, this side, another envelope by Sagita here. And then the other side of the jelly print, the other half. It just put coffee dyed paper and then sewed around it and put those in there. There's that that this little piece flips like this to write on and then I have one of my mixed media tags and then this little tag in there so pretty and then this is this fun little belly band from Angela and I put this uh, journaling card she said that's a lot of money to spend on crafts and I knew we couldn't be friends. <laughs> yep, that's it. That says, nope, can't be your friend. <laughs> oh, mixed media tag. And put a few things in here. This little mixed media tag, um, a little envelope here made out of, uh, out of a book page. And then this little girl that says, I'm fabulous. I'm fabulous. Thank you very much. So there is that little journal. So those of you that are patrons, keep your eyes open for a, a, a new video announcing the early bird notification of this journal. Okay, there's that. Now there's this, which is our project from yesterday. And I wanted to... I wanted to, well, the faux front envelope is finished, but I wanted to finish the front of this. So I need to emboss this. So talk amongst yourselves for a quick minute. Okay, we're 
we're going to emboss this and um, I'm not, I just grabbed this jar. I don't know what colors we're going to use at all. Oh, I want to use the sparkly pink for the teapot. And then I was thinking kind of a, a gold for the high tea. So these will be just fine. There was no, uh, no procrastinating and deciding what I was going to do was there. So, you know, remember the inside? I love that inside. We need to make some little um, cards for in there. Okay, but let's do this. Um, I want a little, a little piece of paper or something here. I'll just use a page from my glue book, I think. Okay, so... I'm going to do, I think I'll do the writing first. And I don't know. I don't know how this is going to work exactly, but I'm going to figure it out. So you might remember this is from <sighs> I'll put it in the description box where this came from, but I did the whatchamacallit, the hop with it and stuff. Um, sorry, I'm not remembering the name of the dot com right now. Okay, so we're going to do gold here. Oh, I'm going to need my I'm going to need my heat tool too, aren't I? Details, details. Okay, there's that. Let's do the T. Okay. Okay. Let me get my heat tool. Got it. Just gotta just gotta plug it in. So yeah. Craftycity.com. Thank you, Gail, for thinking of that. Okay. So we'll just use the, the Ranger one. It's not as quick as my other one, but my other one's over by my, it's over by my mixed media area. Oh yeah, that's hot. Yeah, that's hot. Okay, got that part. Just have to lift it up off my desk so I don't warp my craft mat. So yeah, I just wanted to finish off that little notebook since I didn't quite have time yesterday. Oops, missed the spot. There we go. Okie dokie. Now let's do, let's put this away back in the bottle and then we'll do the pink on the teapot. A little tricky since it's just very small, but we'll do our best not to get it everywhere. Let's do the pink. I'll do my best to get this where it needs to go. Okay. 
Sorry if I'm sticking my head in there. Just trying to see where I'm at. And give that a good squish. This side didn't get very well. Okay. Let's see how we do. Add a little bit of a heat. And this little faux front envelope and the um, and the notepad, those are gonna be prizes at my July retreat, I decided. So that'll be kind of fun. Somebody wants to take notes on something. Okay, it's back in the bottle. So I feel like, I feel like I want a little something more on the teapot. Wondering a little bit about a little bit of bling or something. We'll see what I've got once we get it onto the notebook. Okay, cool. So we got that embossed. Thanks for talking amongst yourselves while I grab stuff that I forgot. I thought I was being all prepared, but I, it took me so long to find stuff for the collage that it's like, okay, forgot forgot that stuff. Oops, that's going to go on the pad before getting put away. Okay, cool. So this guy is going to go right along here. And I'm just going to use art glitter glue on it. Yes, crafty, craftycity.com. I'll, I'll put the link in again. I'll also put Austin's link to Crafty Boo Bro. Two. Okay, there we go. Okay, I'll put that along the edge right there. like a little would like a little something more what would I like ooh what if I used because you don't have to be limited with what you get in the kit you can always use some of your own stuff what if I put like some of this down the side like that mm-hmm that's what I think I'm gonna do so right in between those two little diamonds. Give that a snip. 
Yeah, I think that'll be cute. And then I'll put some bling on the teapot and then it will kind of tie into the bling here. This is the weirdest ribbon. I got this at Hobby Lobby, but um, it's like plastic on this side. It's kind of weird. Okay, that's fun. I just feel like maybe having those diamonds on that side oh gosh, will help not make the diamonds just completely stand out on this if I do any. Um, let's see, what do I have? Oh, I have that's a, that's a cute little... These are flat back package from Journey of Crafting. Let me just kind of look at this and see. Gosh, maybe I just like that right there. No. Kind of like that right there. Ooh, and the gold would be kind of fun. Let's see. Sometimes I just can't tell without putting it there. I don't know. I think I like it. Okay. That worked. Away all my jewels. Okay. Okay, I'm going to put those on there and then the cover's going to be done. we go. All right then, let's check the time. I feel like, oh yeah, we're good. Got a little more time, I think. Okay, yes, I love that. That's very fun. All right, and then this little envelope is going to stay with that. But then did I have some little journaling cards that I could pop in there? I feel like it did. Oh, throw my, throw, throw that over, which is my heat gun. Um, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay, there's lots of little funs. L little funs things. <laughs> so I think I'll just kind of try and pick out maybe six cards to kind of kind of go. Congratulations, I don't want that. How about for you, though? That would, could be good. Okay, for you. This little teacup is cute. And how about these two?
then I feel like I have lots of leftover papers and scraps and stuff that will be fun to work with. And I still have these, oops, these pretty flowers too. I was thinking of closing this with this, but I don't know that I need it. So I don't think I'm going to. So that, and then I also have these left. So, you know, another project can be done. So, yeah. Oh, feels good to get a couple projects done. This is Victorian Velvet Oxide. And I, I love it for um, anything you want, something pink. Shabby, chicy stuff, it's perfect. I know my friend Lorette uses it a lot because she does a lot of shabby, chic stuff. So, so yeah, don't have much else to tell you about, you know, when you're <laughs> in the gym for 17 hours over the weekend. There's not a lot else to share. Oh, boy. It was kind of nice, though, on Sunday afternoon, driving home, there was zero traffic. Not that there's very much traffic in Montana anyway, but absolutely zero traffic. We just, Mike just put it on cruise control and zip, we were home. Nobody in our way, nobody to pass. <laughs> <laughs> it was great. So. Okay. Well, that makes me happy. I still have a few months to come up with some more stuff for prizes, too. So that's kind of exciting. Okay. So I'm going to put the, the for you kind of front and center in this front pocket. So. I could put that one up there. Oh, oh. Did I inadvertently glue that down? No. I just am um, not getting under there. <clears throat> okay. And the four U can be in the front. Okay. And the back. I think we'll put this one up here. Maybe. There we go. That one there. That one there. On this one here that says so much love. Okay, guys. That's done. I think I'm going to sign the back of it just because even though it doesn't want to sign very badly over the oxide. Okay, there's that. Okay, there we go. Those two pieces are done. Thank you, Crafty City. It was fun doing a project for you. So there we go. And happy 10th anniversary to her as well. Alrighty, those are done. Let's pop those aside. How, where are we at? Maybe about 10 minutes. So I'm looking around my table going, what do I have? I've I have several unfinished things, but um, what would be good? Um, I did kind of want to, did kind of want to look at these in terms of, these are from Roxy Creations, um, embellishment kit too, and I love these labels. I was kind of, let me just grab a couple things. I was just kind of wondering if I had something that I think would maybe 
maybe go on to that would would be fun for you know spring summer journals I've got some journal cards I've got these little things that these little flippy outy things so that one goes like that a label across there would be kind of fun let's just play with that for a second hodgepodge hodgepodge of goofy stuff today that one is speaking to me these are interesting to cut out i will say that but worth it in the end. That might be kind of fun right there. I don't know. Just had these on my desk to do something with. This has orange in it, so I don't know if this is the... I may just put this on one of the journal cards instead or something. So my, um, what would you call it? My strategy for cutting these out is to go around and then when I get to one of these points, I just snip it off. And then they don't get in my way and annoy me. Love these. But, you know, I always try to have everything cut out before I get on video. And so I've got a lot of cutting to do with these, that's for sure. But I and I just don't know if I'll get it done. I may be grabbing them here and there to cut one out. That is so pretty, though. But I don't think that does it justice. Um, 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 um let's see. I mean, really, once that's, once that is distressed, it needs nothing else because the distressing will pop it up from the background, I think. I think, no, I know it will. <laughs> I'm confident in that assertion that this will pop better from the background once it's outlined with some distress. Yep. Oh, that's cute. Let's just do this too. I'm gonna pop that on there and then we're probably about at time to call it a video, but we've done some, <laughs> quite a variety of things today. I still have a stack of tags to sew on my sewing machine. I still want to get those sewn so that they can be decorated. I do take my sewing machine to all my retreats, but um, I kind of like having a lot of stuff just ready to go. I think I'm going to go straight middle with that. I was looking at going over here, but I think I'm going to go straight middle. What do I do with my glue book? There it is. Left it on that project tray. Let's put that on there. I've, I've done a, one journal card today. Oh, goodness. Okay. There we go. Gosh, I think that's so pretty. It's just so springy and, and fun. So yay, that's done. Okay, I'm gonna let you go, guys, because I'm gonna get I'm gonna get this all cleaned up and get started on another project, and that will be tomorrow's video. So you know, on we go, on we go. We um, I have been dying to cut into those labels. <laughs> it's like I don't know. It's like having the coconut cream pie sitting on the counter it's like okay I just need to cut into it okay so there's that 
We've got that. We've got these two. And we've got our little Marguerite Miller. So we had quite a day today. So thanks everybody so much for hanging out with me and, and finishing up some projects and getting the collage done and everything. We will, I hope you have a grateful day and we will just see you in the next video. Bye.